So you're looking into architectural mesh and putting facades on the side of your building, but does that keep the air from flowing? What do you have to do to make sure it does? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and when integrating mesh into your architectural design process, you have to consider any natural ventilation requirements since they're put in place to keep the structure and, more importantly, visitors safe. This is where a mesh pattern's percentage of open area comes into play. It ensures there's enough airflow to rid the structure of any hazardous elements like car exhaust. So what do we mean when we say percentage of open area? And how does it affect the mesh? WS Tyler has provided custom architectural mesh products for over 20 years and has helped countless architects produce awe-inspiring designs that comply with the many regulations that surround architectural design. So in this video, we'll go over what percentage of open area is, how the percentage of open area is determined, how mesh is altered to accommodate a desired percentage of open area, how it affects the look and feel of mesh, and how it affects the cost of architectural mesh. So for architectural design, the percentage of open area is the percentage of surface area that's taken up by the apertures of the mesh, or the ratio of the squared nominal aperture width to the squared nominal pitch, rounded to a full percentage value. And this term is generally used when working with parking structures. This is because there's open air requirements that architects must meet to eliminate the need for HVAC systems or have adequate ventilation. The percentage is reflected in the building codes and city ordinances that are determined by a team of civil engineers. Now these requirements typically require at least 50% open area, but there's a lot taken into consideration when these open air requirements are being calculated. For instance, if you have a, a parking structure and all elevations are entirely open, you can put mesh on one side and still have more than 75% open area. This means you'd be able to apply a mesh with a more dense profile and still adhere to these requirements. On the other hand, and if you have a parking garage with enclosed elevations, there's a heightened need for ventilation. This means you must use a mesh with a larger percentage of open area to ensure you comply with city ordinances. Sometimes a mesh profile doesn't come standard with the percentage of open area that you need or want. Fortunately, wire mesh panels are very customizable, and the wire diameter and mesh openings can always be altered to match your vision. For example, let's say you wanted to use the Largo Plenus 2022 profile because its unique basket weave aesthetic catches your eye. This particular weave features a 25% open area, however you need at least 50%. In this instance, every other wire in each direction could be removed to increase the open area while while maintaining its basket look. If you wish to preserve the original look of a mesh profile that doesn't provide enough open area, you can also customize the attachment hardware. This is done by attaching the mesh in a way that creates more of a, a gap between the mesh and the structure. This allows natural ventilation to make its way through this gap. So when you're designing your ideal mesh system, the percentage of open area can sometimes become an arbitrary number. That's because the wire mesh panels can be customized to accommodate how dense or how open you want the look to be. So let's say you needed wire mesh panels that had a 50% a open area. You could use larger mesh openings with thicker wires to create a more open feel. You also have the option to use much smaller mesh openings with thinner wires to create a more dense feel. When it comes to the cost of a mesh profile, percentage of open area doesn't affect the price. It's the weaving process and the amount of material used that affects the cost of any given pattern. That said, altering the mesh can also affect the overall price. If you were to integrate a pattern and remove every other wire in both directions, like I mentioned before, less material would be required to construct your wire mesh panels. So as a result, the overall price of your architectural mesh panels would be reduced. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.